So here we have an aardvark running along this path. And the path consists of this inner circle with a radius of 10 meters and this outer circle with a radius of 20 meters. And the aardvark follows this path shown by the arrows from A to K. And we need to find out the total distance in meters of the path of the aardvark. So we can start, we can calculate this problem by just adding up the separate pieces of the path. So let's start with this big arrow. Now, we know that this big arrow is one quarter of the circumference of the entire circle. And we know that the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So the radius of this big circle is 20 meters, which means the total circumference is 2 pi times 20, or 40 pi. Now, if we divide that total circumference by 4, we get 10 pi. 10 pi meters for this one arrow. Now we look at this arrow. This part goes from the outer circle to the inner circle. If the inner circle has a radius of 10 and the outer circle has a radius of 20, this distance must be 20 minus 10, which is just 10. Now we'll look at this part. Just like before, it's one quarter of the total circumference of the circle. This time, our circumference is 20 pi. So 20 pi divided by 4 is 5 pi. So we add another 5 pi. Now we look at this section. In this path, the arrow goes um, across the diameter of the inner circle. If we know the radius of the inner circle is 10 meters, the total diameter must be 20. So we add 20. Again, this little part is the same value as this because we're going across the quarter of the circumference. So we can just add another 5 pi. And this arrow will be the same as this arrow, which is just the radius of the outer circle minus the radius of the inner circle, 10 meters. If we add all these distances up, we get the total distance in meters that the aardvark traveled. So the total distance is 20 pi plus 40 meters, which is choice E.